Hello everyone and welcome back to the next AutoCAD Elite AutoCAD Secrets video. This one is video 2 which in this one we will be using the copy, mirror, move and rotate command. Now these commands are used um, in your everyday drafting and are a basic foundation that every AutoCAD drafter needs. Okay, so to get started we've got our square that we drew in the last uh, tutorial and what we do with this square is we are going to first we are going to copy the outside square and we're going to move it away. So to do this we can type it again or we can go over here and select copy or we can go to the modify toolbar up the top and select it from there. It all depends on what your preference is. But we're going to choose it from, from this copy command and it says select objects. So we do just that and we will select all the sides of our square because we want to move the entire square. Um, in the next video we'll actually be using blocks which is a much easier way to do this. Um, or we could also group these ones but these will be later tutorials. For now we'll just do it like this and select the objects. And now it says specify base point. So the base point is the point that you want to move it from. So we want to move it from we want to move it from this corner over here and we want to move it so that this corner is snapped to this corner over here so that they're joined. So there we go and it's copied to there and now you can do multiple copies by just moving it to where you'd like and clicking. And that is a very easy way to do multiple copies of objects and it means you never have to draw anything twice in AutoCAD. That's actually one of the great features of AutoCAD. Um, once you draw something you can copy, you can use blocks, um, you can use groups and you, but you generally don't have to draw that object again. You can just copy it over and use it multiple times which is very nifty. Okay, um, next up we're going to use the mirror command. Now the mirror command um, basically takes an object and it makes the same object on the other side of the mirror so or the, or the axis line that we choose. So what I'll do to demonstrate this is I will select all these objects like so and then I'll move over here to the mirror command which is this one here and then so I've already selected the objects so now it says specify first point on mirror line so this is the line that you want it to mirror on so we want it to mirror straight along this line here and as you'll see and then the second point is right there and click and then it says array source object now I don't want to do that but if you wanted to mirror you wanted to switch something around switch it side um, but you didn't want to keep the object, you could choose um, yes, but I want to choose no. And there we go, see it's exactly mirrored that um, opposite on the other side. Okay, so that is the mirror command. We'll just pan around a little bit to get our drawing set up a little bit better, like so. And now what we are going to do is we are going to use the move command. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to take this little square here by selecting all of it and I'm going to click the move command over here it's relatively simple to use and then uh, as before as with the um, copy command it says specify base point so we specify the base point and then we move it over into the other square like so so that's now moved over there and uh, the move command is also used in 3D um, to move our object in 3D space um, and that is also in the, the full AutoCAD Elite course which as I will tell you at the end of the video is available at AutoCADElite.com okay now what we are going to do next is rotate so what we're going to do is we'll draw something that's a bit easier to tell if it rotates or not um, so we'll just draw an object using the line command and what it'll be 
is I'll just choose the midpoint. See that little triangle, that, that uh, orange triangle? That means midpoint. And we come down and then back across to the midpoint there again. And there we go. So now that will allow me to demonstrate the rotation of the object. Okay, so what I want to do is and actually I'll copy this object just to show the copy command again and I will move it down onto this midpoint and there we go we have the same object in both okay now what we want to do to rotate is we want to select the objects or we can do that after we select the rotate command and then we want to choose the rotate command which is right there so rotate and then now we specify the base ax, uh, base point that we want to rotate around. Now I want it to rotate around its center, but we can choose any base point on there. So I'll just choose its center. And then, as you can see, we choose our angle where we want it to rotate to. Now we can type that as an angle, or we can just move around until it gets the angle that we want. Now I will flip it all the way and then hit uh, I'll click and there we go so it's turned around and that is it for these commands I hope you got a lot out of this video if you want more step-by-step -step tutorials head over to autocatalyte.com and there you will find a full step-by-step -step course that takes you from go to way okay I will see you in the next tutorial